everybody, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to a Sims 4 house video. So, as you all know, I said we were going to renovate the house, and that's what's kind of been the delay with the videos, is, um, I've been decorating this, so, and I'm gonna tell you right up, we did not have a lot of money to decorate this house with, because this house alone was so expensive and the wonderful sim links went ahead and made this for me if you guys want to check out some of those other house videos i will go ahead and link that down below i had like 20 small not 20 simoleons <laughs> 20 000 simoleons to decorate this house with which may seem like a lot but it wasn't trust me i had to delete like all the shrubberies and i was like man <laughs> <laughs> so you guys may notice we are in a completely new location that's right we moved to the upper class we are right by the goth household believe it or not we can actually like zoom into their house hey bella hey cassandra what's up and i love this location because there's this really cute kitty park right next door which will be perfect for you know taylor and the future baby and then we're right by this beautiful pond that has like little swans in it. So, I mean, I like where we are. So, let's go ahead and take a little look in the house. Actually, we'll start out front. Here we have Goliath and Gretchen. That's right, Gretchen, guys. You know, fetch. And then over here we have some potted strawberries because potted strawberries, yummy. And a really oddly placed mailbox, which I'm gonna have to go ahead and move. So if we head down to the first story, which like I said, I did not have a lot of simoleons to decorate with, so it will be more furnished and pleasant in the future. I couldn't really do anything right now, but you know, it, it's coming. So over here we have our living room, which what I went ahead and did was kind of put like these really cute spotted, or not spotted, oh. I'm wild right now. I put these really cute froggies over here, even though I do not like frogs. Ugh, don't even get me started. They don't like me either. Trust me, I've had horror stories with them. Um, but here is my living room, and um, yeah, it's like a green, blue sorts of theme. And then we shall go right here. It is my <laughs> really poorly decorated kitchen. I am so sad. The kitchen is my favorite part of a house and unfortunately this is all I have right now. I would love to be able to decorate this nice This is my dining room which I'm absolutely in love with. I just love the way that the shape of the room goes and I think this dining set right here looks splendid and I really really like the dining room. And then here is like a, I don't know, here's the foyer. I don't know what you would call this, but here's a room, guys. And over here is Drake and Nadine's bedroom. Now, I kind of, okay, she doesn't even have a chair. She doesn't even have a chair. <laughs> that just tells you how broke we are. She doesn't even have an effing chair. But she has a dragon statue. Priorities, everybody, priorities. So here is their bedroom. Instead of giving them kind of the modern theme that usually I give them, I decided to go ahead and let Nadine have her break and it's very light and pretty and I love the bedding. I think the bedding is gorgeous. And then right here is a half bathroom, I guess. Um, I want to get the bath and shower combination and put it right there in the corner, but <laughs> we can't afford it, so. We just got a toilet right now and it's it's quite snazzy and then taylor's room you guys are probably like whoa 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 there's not even a shower in here but she has a a queen bed she has this big ass castle what i know i just got kind of out of control in her bedroom like relived my childhood that <laughs> i wish i had um no my childhood was good it was a shout out to you mom and dad so here is her bed and you cannot tell me this bed is not gorgeous i love the bedding it is just so cute and then her little creativity table and her dolls i love the doll stand i think this just really wraps together like a little girl's bedroom is all the little dolls and I highly recommend it. It's super cute. And then I put like a little piece of inspiration art right here so she can look at it and be like, I want to paint like my grandma one day. And she can, you know, get that creativity flowing. And then over here is, oh my gosh, okay, wall. Over here is a fairy tale, um, fairy tale dollhouse. Now, I wish. A girl can wish that I had this when I was growing up because I definitely did not have a dollhouse. I remember 
like for my my brat dolls and my Barbie dolls, <laughs> my my doll car was like a wooden box for a while, and I'd sit them in the wooden box and act like it was a car. And I'd be like, woo! And finally, I remember like July fourth, I got a a dollhouse or not a dollhouse, a doll car, and it was like a breakthrough. Um, so <laughs> here is like her little I guess side table sorts of thing. Not really. It's just. A little table with some nail polish and perfume and a lamp and Uncle Noah's painting or Grandpa Noah's painting. Whoa, weird. That's her grandpa, but he disappeared. So anyways. Okay, and then we really get into some empty rooms. Up here we have this painting, which I would actually like to move. Oh, no, not that. I'd like to move this down a little bit. Okay, so here we have this, um, not painting, but the microscope sample. And then here we have a bathroom, which I, I haven't even painted. Okay. Uh, we have a bathtub, this really nice dresser, armoire, cabinet holder <laughs> thing. Um, I really like it. I don't know what this is supposed to be right here, this little gold thing. If you know what that is, let me know. Kind of looks like a golden apple display but I really can't tell. A tissue box, lotion, and all your needy stuff. And then here we have a nice little potted plant, um, some counters, a mirror, a toilet, kind of the bathroom essentials, you know? And then right here is Megan's bedroom. It's really quaint and I love it. Like if I could have any room in the house, it'd probably be Megan's because it's so little and it's like at a corner and cozy and I really like it. So here we just have um, another microscope sample. Uh, this cu custom content piece actually, the please wipe your feet. This is custom content. Um, if you guys like it, I will let you know where to get some cool furniture custom content in my next video. Just let me know down below. And then here we have some roses and um these really cool wall things like the wall decals i love using these i don't know why but i think they're really cute and uh, yeah they look good like that um a hamper and that's pretty much her room and oh a robe because she's you know i don't know cozy <laughs> where was i going with that uh we have a nice walk-in closet right here not really walk-in but a closet where you can store your, your pretend sweaters, yeah. And then right here, we have the display that I need to put all of our little display items in. An empty room, an empty room, an empty room, an empty room, cool. <laughs> and then here is Joseph and Candace's bedroom, which is empty. This was the last room I did, but uh, it will definitely be filled up with furniture before you know it. Um, I really love the wallpaper in here. I think the wallpaper is to die for. I wish, I wish. And their bed is probably the nicest bed in the house. And these lamps are also custom content. And um, yeah, that's pretty much their bedroom. I know, it's so fancy. And then if we head back here, it's Mr. Josh's room. I gave him something a little snazzier than what he had before. Just because I'm like, well, he's getting older. He might bring, you know, a little, a little lover over sometime soon hopefully so I went ahead and gave him like a green and blue theme kind of like downstairs in the living room of course I gave him a couple of his favorite things like Drago a toy box some action figures and um, a rhino and his voodoo doll <laughs> so yeah and I also put the pen pal station in here or the the postcards so he can maybe begin to collect them or his dad can continue collecting them and he can display them in his room and a wooden elephant because everybody who's anybody needs a wooden elephant so yeah you better get one while you can and then here is my probably my favorite bathroom i think it is so cute so elegant and i really like it um oops okay so it's just like this really nice black and mauvey purple theme i really like it it's simple but adorable in my opinion so i really like it uh when we have another child which we will be this will be like the nursery area right here and we'll hopefully be able to fill these in with something i'm not quite sure uh but yeah that is pretty much the house as of right now and then oh back there was like you know fences and a pool and 
that's just a rocket ship because that's all we could afford. That is all. it. I love you all so very much. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe if you would like to. I love you all so very much and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.